Hey guys, welcome back to the 4-1 Week. Today we're going to talk about how to watch a DVD in Windows 8. So right here I have one of the DVDs from Season 5 of The Big Bang Theory. I'm going to put it into my disk drive on my laptop. And we're going to see if we can watch this DVD from Windows 8 Pro. Just a regular license, nothing crazy. Basic Windows 8. So when I put the disk in, generally it would pop up with an autoplay feature that would give me some options to choose from. But I currently have that disabled. So what I want to do is I want to go into my desktop. And down here, click the folder icon or get to my computer somehow. So I'm going to select computer and notice there's the, the DVD. I'm going to right click and select open autoplay. And these are options that Windows gives us to play this DVD or use this feature, whether it's a flash drive or an external drive, any type of device or storage media we connect to our computer. There's certain things we can do. Now, since I have Dropbox program installed on my computer, it's asking if I want to import the pictures and video. I really want to watch this video and there's no Windows Media Player popping up in this list. Well Windows 8 doesn't come pre-installed with Windows Media Player. You have to download what's known as the Windows 8 Media Center Pack. Generally it's $69.99 or $79.99 but up until January 31st it's free. I'm going to do a video showing you how to go download and install that program and I'll link it in the description. But at first I want to show you we're going to choose Take No Action how to download a program in order to play this video on our Windows 8 machine basically for free using an open source program. So what we want to do is open up an internet browser and we want to type cnet.com uh, cnet.com now this is just a website you'll see me use time and time again I like to use this website because it's very reliable and you know you're downloading the right program we want to type in VLC player and I'll actually post a link for this player as well as other video players that are out there and free this is just one that's very common um, and a lot of people use this one it's a very great media player so I'm gonna click the green button for download now and it's going to bring me to the download page. I don't want to click anything else on this page because a lot of these are advertisements. Notice I can either run or save. I'm going to save it just for the purposes of showing you how it works. And it's going to put it in my downloads folder. So as soon as it's through, I'll open up my downloads folder. Now, here's my downloads folder. It showed that that file successfully downloaded. I'm going to click on the downloads folder and we'll be able to see that file within the folder where it's stored. All right, so here's that file. I'll just double click to run it. It's going to give me a UAC that I'll just click yes. Select my language. Now we want to be careful during this install. Um, we want to not necessarily read every license agreement unless you want to make sure you do. But there are some things in here every once in a while you want to make sure you at least notice what it is. So this is the license agreement. I'll click next. It's asking me to choose certain components and it's asking me where to install the file to. I'll generally just go with the default setting. It's going to extract the file and install it. And it may prompt me for a restart. It's specific for what program we're doing. So we'll wait until this finishes. And now it's asking if I want to run. I'll just uncheck that because I don't want to run it just yet. And finish. So now I have this VLC player installed. I can close all of this and go back to my computer real quick and we'll right click on the drive do open autoplay and notice now we see play DVD movie with VLC player um, and since this is the first time I've opened it it wants me to save and continue for the network policy agreement and here goes the DVD so I'll pause that and now we have VLC player working in Windows 8 and this is only for movies and videos, not necessarily audio. And I may do one specific to audio, but if you run with, or if you use iTunes or something like that, uh, Winamp, there's a few other audio programs out there as well. So if you have any questions, please let me know. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day.